Hey everyone, it's Hannah here with HR Partner. Next I'm going to show you how you can manage employee leave requests automatically. Basically this means that you'll be able to let your employees actually log in to their own self-serve dashboard where they'll be able to submit time off requests. From there you'll be able to either approve or deny their requests and they'll be notified automatically. So the first step is to enable the self-serve portal. To do that you'll just want to click the company tab here on the left and then click setup. After that you'll want to scroll down until you find the global options section and that's just right here. You'll want to check this box that says enable employee self-service portal and after that you'll just want to click allow employees to apply for leave via the portal and this will make it so your employees will be able to submit leave requests. Once you're finished click save and if you haven't already given your employees access to their self-serve portals, I'll show you how to do that right now. So you'll just want to click the Employees tab on the left. And next you'll want to find the employee for which you want to set up the self-service portal. And if they're not listed here, just click Add a new employee. But if they're listed, just click their profile. After that, click Edit Employee Details. And so to make sure that they can log into their own portal and that that's all set up, you'll just want to scroll to the bottom. And under the self-service portal section, make sure you tick this box that says employee can log on to the self-service portal. After you're done checking that, you want to fill out their portal username. And here I'd recommend that you just add their email address as their username because that makes it super easy for them to remember. And after that, you can set a temporary password that they can use to log in. And just to let you know, once they log in, they'll be able to easily change that password. Next, you'll want to tick this box at the bottom. Basically, what that does is it'll send the employee an automatic email with their access information, so that way you don't have to do it yourself. After that, hit Save. And so what happens after you click Save is that your employee will receive an email notification with their login credentials. So if you want to know more about how your employees can actually log in and submit their own leave requests, and if you want to train them on that, I'll show you really quickly how they'll be able to do that themselves. So after your employee logs into their self-serve portal, they'll see this tab here on the left on the bottom that says leave. After clicking that, they'll just click this button here that says add leave request. And here they'll be able to select the manager to which they'd like to send the leave request application to. And they'll be able to choose their leave type and write a short description about why they want to request the leave. And down here they'll be able to select when they'd like to take time off and for how long. And after they're done they'll just hit submit. And then after that their manager will be notified of their leave request via email. So now I'll show you really quickly what this looks like as a manager. So if you're looking at somebody's leave request and you want to approve or deny the request, it'll look like this. You'll see all of their information right here and the reason for leave. And then here at the bottom, you'll be able to add a note before you approve or deny the request. So here I'll say, as an example, no problem, take off as much time as you need. And then after you're finished, you can hit approve or reject. And after that, your employee will be automatically notified as to whether you've approved or denied the request. And they'll receive that notification via email right away. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. And if you run into any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks. Bye.